Hi friends, this is Mohammed Gibran and welcome to our C language tutorials. In this video, we are going to create a Pascal's triangle using the asterisk or the star symbol. So first of all, uh, include the header files and create the main function. And uh, in that, we are going to require some the variables uh, which are like int i, j, and n, and then our clear screen. Then first of all, we'll ask the user how many lines of code does he or how many lines does he wants to see on the screen. Enter number of rows. Okay, and then we'll store that in our uh, variable n and then we will create some loops first of all first loop will work on i i should be less than n and uh, i should increment all the time so here for the first run i am taking the value of i as 0 and it should uh, not it exceed the value of n that is the maximum value of our asterisk so for the first time we are in a row this for loop will be executed so when this for loop uh, we enter in this loop then we will uh, go for another loop here we will go for number of uh, columns or number of uh, adjacent asterisk in our uh, <coughs> row it should be j plus plus the okay let me write the code and then i will explain you what i am writing over there i will write printf asterisk printf in okay. so <coughs> once we enter this first uh, this first for loop we will be going into uh, we are going to do something like this okay we are going to uh, print the stars according to this but we don't want to create it uh, in a single row we want it to be uh, printed in different different rows so for that reason we are using one more for loop <coughs> what it does is once we uh, initialize our i value as a zero and then we are printing the asterisk according to the j value okay so here the i value is 0 for the first time and uh, then <coughs> again we are saying that our j value is again 0 but the j value should be equal uh, less than or equal to i this condition is true so we are printing the asterisk like this okay and the next time when we checks for this condition the i gets incremented and uh, it uh, the j gets incremented and uh, it becomes 1 and this condition fails so we come out of this loop so when we come out of this loop what we want to do is we want to print one line break because I would like to come to the next line now I'm in the next line and then I again go back and now my i value is 1 so when I again enter this loop my j value will again become 0 and I will print the asterisk like this and uh, then my j value will increment 0 plus 1 will become 1 and when I check it with i as my i value has incremented to 1 this condition is true for this also so I will again print the asterisk like this and uh, again I will increment my j value now my j value becomes 2 and when I check it with i it is false so this will not be getting printed and I will again come out of my loop and I will come to the next line and then again for the third time my i value will be 3 will be sorry it will be 2 and uh, then I will again go for the loop on j like for the 0 0 then 1 and for sorry and for 2 and likewise it will go for 3 and 4 likewise it will go till your n value so just these two for loops will uh, help
help you create the uh, particle triangle so let's try to run it and see if it works oops sorry i should remove them now let us run he says enter number of rows let me say 3 and here it gives me 3 rows 1 2 and 3 and the number of maximum star in a row is 3 uh, okay suppose if i run it again and uh, uh, this time i type 8 it gives me 8 rows with maximum of 8 stars so this is how you can create a classical triangle uh, you can give some uh, tabbings or you can give more spacing between them you can format them as you like but um, that's the basic of creating a Pascal triangle and uh, that's it for this video hope you understood the video and thanks for watching it